Hello, this video is aimed for my year 8 class. Uh, it's actually a biology module um, and we're looking at chemosynthesis. Um, so, what I want you to first consider is how plants that we've looked at um, make their energy in a normal way. Okay, and we come to this equation here for photosynthesis. Okay, and what this is showing is plants absorbing CO2 through the stomata of the leaves, reacting it with water and sunlight and producing glucose. Um, this is the carbohydrate um, which plants get their energy from. Obviously there's also the release of oxygen which is a good thing for us. Chemosynthesis is a little bit different. With chemosynthesis um, we're looking at bacteria producing glucose through a string of chemical reactions. So let's get that definition down. So, that's it. Chemosynthesis is where bacteria produce glucose through chemical reactions uh, to give plants some energy. Now, these typically live in places with no light, um, obviously removing photosynthesis as an option, um, and plants, animals, organisms have to rely on this chemosynthesis process. So, an example of where there might be no light is at the seabed. I've drawn here a diagram um, showing a deep sea vent um, with this tube worm out the side. Now, the tube worm contains bacteria which absorb hydrogen sulfide, CO2 and water and use, undergo a string of chemical reactions and use this to make glucose. The bacteria then can feed on the tube worm, um, and the tube worm has um, the glucose for energy. So this is a symbiotic relationship, um, which is really key when living in an area with no light. Um, so we can use this table just to summarise the differences between chemosynthesis and photosynthesis. Yes, they're both making energy, um, making glucose, However, um, there are some differences. So both of them do require energy to be made. However, the source of the photosynthesis, as the name photo would suggest, is light. The energy source for chemosynthesis, um, we're looking at chemical reactions. That's a chemical energy source. Okay? Um, photosynthesis actually requires CO2. Um, chemosynthesis usually requires CO2. This is the important bit. There are other options um, to make energy. However, we're going to put CO2 usually. Um, and the key point is in both cases, glucose is most definitely produced. So, the key content from this is that we understand that chemosynthesis is a way of making glucose, a way of getting energy in places where there aren't light. It's an alternative to photosynthesis. Um, and often we find at places like the seabed, there are symbiotic relationships for the generation of this energy, and then that energy is used to make food. Thanks very much for watching. Um, like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Cheers.